What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This is going to be day two of Project YZE, YZ250 electric dirt bike conversion. Today we're going to wrap up the teardown. I'm going to be taking out the two-stroke engine, the skid plate, and any remaining components, wiring that we're not going to need for the QS138 kit. Since this is an older bike, this YZ is a 2006, I'm going to hit all the hardware with some PB blast. Hopefully that'll make it easier to break loose. I might actually have to cut off some of the hardware for the skid plate since it's pretty banged up. This one I definitely can't even get a wrench on, so I might have to cut that off. Uh, the last thing I'm going to take off is the through bolt that goes through the swing arm. That's the last bolt I'll need to take off to take the engine out. I'm going to save that for when I get this thing on a stand a little later. here's how we're looking so far got all the motor mount hardware removed the motor's just sitting there held in place by the swing arm bolt the skid plate i had to cut off two of the bolts holding it in place since they were pretty mangled and um probably two or three pounds of mud caked in there so this thing's about to lose some weight just from cleaning now i'm going to work on taking out the ignition the wiring and any remaining cables that are attached to the engine then we're going to get the bike on a stand unbolt the swing arm and take this thing out. I got the rest of the fueling and ignition components taken off. Check out how clean that carb is. 
Bike's now supported by the stand. In theory, I should be able to remove the sprocket from the gearbox and let the chain hang. Pull the swing arm bolt out and be able to pull the whole engine out. I didn't disconnect the clutch cable though, so I'm gonna pull out the engine with the lever. All right guys, there it is. Finally got the two stroke out. That was honestly a little easier than I thought it would be. This is my first time ever pulling out an engine from a dirt bike or a motorcycle in general. I'm used to cars where it'll take me all day to pull a motor out and have to get a cherry picker, but I was able to do this pretty much all by myself and lift it out um, by hand. It's probably like 50 or 60 pounds. And then I just reinserted this swing arm bolt to hold everything in place and check out all that crud in there so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna soak this into greaser so i can load it up into my um pathfinder tomorrow and take it to a power washing place so we can get all this dirt out let me know what you guys think i should do to this chassis should i just polish it up with some scotch bright make it like bare aluminum finish or should i get it powder coated should i paint it let me know so as of right now, I'm still planning on using Electro & Co's QS138 V3 kit along with their 76 volt battery. I just want to do some measurements to make sure that I'm able to fit everything in this frame. Let me know if you have experience with their kits or if there's another kit that you'd recommend I look into. But if you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, you want to keep up with Project YZE or any of my other bikes, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.